surprised these uh, Principes burn up a fight, considering the rest of their, like, friends are routing. Peeler at, like, <laughs> minimum range. That hurts. Luckily for me, they're Chosen Swordsmen. Utterly brilliant units. Generally, I thought they were even towards Principes, but it seems that they're actually surviving very, very well in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. This um, battle's already taken like 20 minutes, I think. Just getting the, some general units inside here, apparently. Don't know why they're coming in. Oh well, we've got these units here. Gonna send them over there, and the Slingers can come round to help these lot. This general. Yeah, he can go there. That one can go there. That should uh, make it a bit more organised. Unfortunately, chariots are pretty use useless in um, settlements. But it looks like my chosen swordsmen here have broken through that prince pay unit, which is nice. And uh, maybe we can hit this, uh, this this next one. Probably the same one. It's just uh, stopped routing. And the war cry. I'm going to charge after him. Come on, men. Kill them all. Gonna clash in the streets of Croton. And leap it into the air. <laughs> I could never leap that high. <laughs> Just carving over the shields of the Principes. The Principes are getting out there. Peeler again, but being slaughtered in the process. And tons of point blank Peeler. Ah, oh, that hurts, but doesn't matter too much. Because they're being carved up by my men. This is a pretty epic siege, to be honest. We got the, some incendiary pigs here. They seem to be shot up by the tower, and they seem now they're retreating. We've got um, this fight going on over here. Still. That Prince Pei unit's routing, and we're going to clash into the next unit of Prince Pei's. God, it's just like never ending Prince Pei's. My long swords beating their gladiuses, though. Apparently. The pig's running away over here. Look at them run. <laughs> Got my swordsmen running after them. They're just gonna run them all down, the poor pigs. <laughs> oh dear. That small unit of swordsmen doing very well to be honest. Considering they went up on the walls on their own. They just killed like an entire Velote unit and then just now they're running down these guys. Oh, going to continue to uh, get our army in here. Move up these um, barbarian mercenaries. We can get the head hurlers forwards and so on. Over here, the uh, Prince Pei unit's been cut off by one unit of, of chosen swordsmen. While the others chase it. And they're just going to get all cut down. The Velite unit over here, let's go kill that. My guys are very tired right now. And then you would be if you had to siege a city this large. Anything happening elsewhere? So hard to keep track of a siege in such a large city. Now my men are just marching down there. Can I pick up any more units? I wish I could just grab hold of some of these AI units right now. They would be so useful. But oh no, the AI is like, nope. 
We've got 21 minutes remaining on this battle. <laughs> okay. Got these chariots here. We might actually even be able to make use of them because there's not actually quite a small amount of them. Tell them to go and attack this Velote unit. Oh, there's some slingers here as well. They're going to get run through. Yeah, the, the uh, chariots coming through here. They should just run straight into the back of this Velote unit that's fighting my chosen swordsman. But it um, doesn't matter either way because the Velote is now broken and they're going to suicide through my own men. Fine by me. I really didn't expect this to turn into a full blown siege battle, but what do I know? So if it's the only way I'm gonna win this battle, then so be it. Anywhere I can actually place these chariots? There we go. You can sit there for now. <laughs> okay, these swordsmen I'm going to make turn around. There's only 30 of them. And I'm going to tell them to attack this large unit of uh, Velites. But um, I'm sure they can do their job just, just fine. Look at them slaughtering them. It's 29 now. It's 28. And theirs is dropping by 10 at a time. I've also got some uh, barbarian mercenaries. I, I told them to charge into the back of the Velites as well. It should help breaking them. Um, yep, yep, there we go. 122 Velites rout against 28 swordsmen. <laughs> Job well done. Extremely long siege. I'm actually quite enjoying this though. British light chariots have um, bumped into the Prince Pays, which has ultimately made them rout. And why not just, you know, use them if that's the case? Probably get these chariots into the walls as well. So let's uh, try and line them up inside the walls there we go there's one and there's two then maybe we can use them in the center square to kill all this cavalry but hopefully that will just go down to my warband but, uh, fortunately my uh, chariots are doing nice work on all these fleeing units and well we may as well while they're there just tell them to attack into this cavalry and whittle them down a little bit from the field like frightened goats, hunt them down and slay them all. Now my British chariots are pretty much going to get slaughtered. Yeah, there they go. But if they chase them, which they might, then they're going to be running straight into a warband unit. comes a Roman general. Come oh, on, man. Charge round. You need to hurry up. Get those chosen swordsmen in to help. Hopefully the uh, barbarian mercenaries will hold for now. Until my uh, other units arrive. Guys need to war cry. I make an attack. Kill this general on his horse. Where's the actual general? He is at the back over here. We need him to come to the front and die. And with him pushing through my unit, 
It's actually uh, making him get surrounded. If he's not careful, he's going to end up just suiciding. But that doesn't matter for me, because I want him dead. Okay, he's run away. That's good. We can actually continue to advance upon them. Now, fortunately, because it's all horses in the center square, we can actually take advantage of that and kill them very, very easily. Whereas a unit like uh, Hastati or um, Principes in the middle would be a pain in the ass. I ho I'm hoping these Chosen Swordsmen can hold off these Hastati so that I don't get um, flanked at the uh, center over here. Looks like he's attacked me again though. This time the general's actually going to die there. There's no way a general can get out of that unless he runs away straight away. He's going to take too many hits. There we go. He's dead. A few heads flying in here from the head hurlers. And we can run up the street, take out this Equite unit. Uh, meanwhile, over here, the Hastati are actually doing work on my Chosen Swordsman. Oh, they've got a Warband unit just standing there and watching. That's clever. Gonna get these Slingers to sling into the back of the Hastati. That'll help out a bit. There we go. That made them flee. Running into the back of them. So my chosen swordsman lived to fight another day. Unfortunately up here one of my swordsman units is actually routing. Uh, let's try and uh, keep this going though. The chosen swordsmen don't, can pretty much um, kill most of these equites as soon as they lose their charge bonus. And there goes the general of the third army. Enemy warlord is Eventually dead, died. By your brave warriors. This is going to be such a good victory for me. If I could do this with one army, I should have just done it a million times sooner. Yeah, a lot of them are just dying now because they routed. And well, they've stopped routing again. They're probably going to end up charging me again. Yep, there we go. And more of the horses are going to start falling over and dying. Get all these men up to help. Because we're going to need all the help we can get for killing all these equites in the center square. We can may as well fast forward it now. And that's it. Okay. Uh, we need to kill this Felite unit. And then we take control of the square. Okay, now it's up to them to come and take it back off me. Uh, let's get all of the units over here. All come to the center square, guys. Just going to check they're not running in retarded places. Nope, that's fine. We have a second, another army of the... Actually, this isn't another army. This is just catapults. I've got an idea. Oh, I don't think I'll quite get there in time. I just had the idea I could send my general all the way over there to kill them all. But there's not much point now. There's 20 seconds left on the timer. I'm just going to let that speed up. And we've captured the city. This is a great victory. Wow. The of dying enemies are sweet music to our warriors. That is crazy. We got 3,748 kills with my army alone. My reinforcement army was useless because it was controlled by AI. So I used 2,068 men to kill 3,748. That is ridiculous. How is that not a heroic victory? I just, I just do not know. Wow. Settlement captured. We're gonna to choose to, um, let's see what they're like. They don't like me very much. Let's enslave the populace. And in that settlement, we can use it 
to retrain all of these units that got heavily damaged in the fighting. That is just so epic though, like so many of those units picked up tons of morale from that, it's, that's just so cool. I mean, I'm actually going to disband this barbarian mercenary unit, we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to send it back to Tarentum just to purely retrain the units that got melted a bit by the towers. Okay, that's fine. We can stop the uh, make the peasants being made there. Over in Suggesta, we've got a bit of an issue. Looks like with population. So let's uh, get the peasant queue going. So that's all. Everything's fine there. For some reason, the uh, Greeks have decided to land next to Croton. I can use these ships actually to have a look around. Uh, Sicily and see what's going on here. And we bump into another navy, of course. Let's go and sink that. And the last city is just around here. But it looks like most of those cities are actually pretty undefended. Which will mean that I can just jump the army at Croton onto a boat and then send it over to Sicily and we can capture a free three settlements. Now this cell, this one's going to siege this settlement and this army's going to come down and pretty much bypass and go down and attack this Brutii army. Might be worth if I can bribing this army. Nope. Doesn't look like I have enough money to. Next turn that uh, city will surrender. Got four turns until surrender on that one. And I think that is pretty much it. The Scythians still building up their army. If I can, I should probably get a spy. No, I can't. No, it's going to be miles away. Okay, let's have a look at what's going on here. Vickers Venaday actually has now got enough population to be upgraded. We've got end of turn report, town expands, Massilia. A warlord's hold on that, that will become our culture. Yeah, I think that's everything. We've got some chosen swordsmen in these settlements down here. But it looks like the Scipio have changed their mind about invading Spain. Probably because they saw my armies. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm going to click the end turn button and see what happens. We're going to get attacked by... Dacia, this is their last stand. If they lose this battle, I think they get wiped out for good. So another nation soon going to be gone. I pretty much just have to put up a nice defense with all these Illyrian mercenaries and we should be good. Got really good flanking force with this, with these Sarmatian cavalry. So let's go fight this on the battlefield. Okay, they're coming straight out, so let's dump the rams. We're going to get all these Illyrian mercenaries. To group up into uh, quite tight formations. And we're going to um, run them. And we're going to begin to move them forwards, actually. I could probably do that closer to the gate. Never mind, looks like they're coming straight for me. Look at these barbarian warband to um, intercept these ones. Looks like my Illyrian mercenaries are going to be throwing tons of javelins into this unit. Or maybe not. I'm going to have to uh, stop these guys from skirmishing. Keep them on fire at will though. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're running away. 
Now my uh, units are just going to throw loads of javelins into the back of them. <laughs> oh, that's so painful. <laughs> right, the next unit going to hit us and then run away again. So easy. Well, let's just attack these. With all I've got. I'm going to get these uh, units of Illyrian mercenaries to uh, line up just behind them. Turn off their skirmish. That's pretty much job done there. Just stop those guys from chasing. Most of my Illyrian mercenaries have now run out of... Um, run out of javelins. These guys are calling themselves Sarmatian, so I'm going to call them that from now on. Sarmatian mercenaries. Makes more sense, I guess. we got some uh, Bastonet mercenaries here, now routing as well. Probably just run them down. Actually, let's use them to kill this barbarian warlord. Let's come round. That's going to kill a lot of that Warlord unit. Oh. <laughs> Sarmatians. There we go. Overwhelming the Barbarian Warlord. Can actually get these Illyrian Mercenaries to uh, attack into the back of that Warlord unit as well. There goes the General. Drinks with his glorious ancestors. His men now rightly fear us. Doing very well. They're all trying to like squeeze through the gates here. And they're just bumping straight into my own men. In theory, I can just bring all of the ones that still have ammo. And just go like this, and they will throw their missiles over the walls. Turn off their skirmish modes. Can also bring forward these Illyrian mercenaries. And the horses can basically just stand there for now. <laughs> they don't have much use. We've we've managed to capture the gates. Didn't even have to break them down. Here we go. Here come all the spears over the walls. Look at that. Ouch. Look at that. That's just carnage. Oh, we can actually just get these guys through the walls, I think. Anyone who runs away from the walls just gets showered in these javelins. <laughs> Crazy. guy's taking a beating. Okay, well we can probably start getting some of these guys inside the walls actually. Not sure what these swordsmen are doing. The swordsmen are going Rambo, look at that. <laughs> yeah, I thought they might rout. <laughs> they weren't going to last long. 24 versus like three, 400. War crying. The charge bonus of those Falksmen is just ridiculous. Probably gonna push us back out again. I I, I can see these uh, barbarian mercenaries breaking soon. Oh no, never mind. The uh, see they're just peasants. Oh, okay, the Falksmen haven't actually broken yet. get some of these Illyrian mercenaries into the gates while we still can. Go 
on guys, get inside. Actually, no, probably not a good idea. We're going to have to make them sally forth to us again. No, yes, no, yes, no, maybe, don't know. No, they've taken them back, what? They're like wanting to rout, but not. It's really confusing me. Are they going to rout? Are they not going to rout? Am I going to put my Illyrian mercenaries in the wall, or am I not going to put my Illyrian mercenaries in the wall? Well, if they're going to move away, then it's fine by me. They can just take another shower of javelins. These two units over here still have ammo left. So let's bring them over to the left so that they can fire properly. These units can also come over to the middle. The only trouble with this scenario is that um, even though I've got all these Illyrian mercenaries piling through the gates, I've got my barbarian warband just fleeing through them. Just a bit silly. Okay, well a lot of them died there. A ton of my Illyrian mercenaries just died. But we have plenty more, it's okay. Mercenaries are there for a reason. They're all going to get inside the walls now. No? Don't want to move? Select all the... I can probably just... Uh, can I just double click them? There we go. Control, double click. Get inside, man. They're basically like crap versions of Hastati. Pretty much what they are. And now, with them inside, we can get the horses inside. And we can begin to advance this army towards the centre square. Pretty much just my men running towards them makes them run away. That's quite funny. Oh my gosh. It's a lot of units. I think we're pretty much just going to be able to swarm them. There we go. And they're all going to eventually die. And that'll be victory for us. We need fight. Cool beans. We deployed <laughs> 2,800 and we lost about 1,000. Or 892 we lost. But we killed 1,843. So it wasn't too bad. There are any mercenaries. No one cares. Pay him to die for me, so that's what they're going to do. That gains us a settlement. We're going to exterminate populace. We don't actually need the population to replenish my units because it's a mercenary army. So I may as well just exterminate them, keep the uh, population happy. So let's press the M button. And we can get the uh, general outside. He can pick up some more mercenaries. We may as well pick up those, um, so the Bastard, Bastard A. And we're gonna leave as small a unit as we can there. So let's just leave those barbarian mercenaries there if I can get away with it, yep. And we'll continue on our way. Then in the settlement we can we can take, or we can build some, I'm going to build some swordsmen there, and some light chariots. This army can move on to attack this city of Porolissum. 
Dacia is now destroyed. Between me and the Brutii attacking them, they've just been wiped out like pretty much instantly. 